A very good evening to you. This is Monday Night News. It's part of our wider coverage of Kivumbi 2017. Tonight we're taking a look at the issue of manifestos and whether they will influence the vote and how to keep all of these politicians answerable to the promises they make during this campaign period. We're not done. From 10 p.m., Joe Age will be speaking with uh, Amos Kimunya as well as Professor Anyang Nyongo on that. That is the politician's segment. But first, we want to update you on the top stories at the this hour. Our sign language interpreter is Maresha Owiti and I am Yvonne Okwara Matole. So let's start with our big story tonight, which is the now controversial statement made by NASA leader Raila Odinga in Kajiado late last week. Over the last four days, both NASA and Jubilee leaders have traded barbs over this statement concerning land. Jubilee leaders want Ryla arrested for alleged hate speech, while NASA maintains the statement merely addressed the poverty caused by wanton sale of ancestral land. So just what exactly did the NASA leader say in Kajado, and did it actually amount to hate speech? Tonight, we have taken the decision to play the contentious video clip to afford you, our viewer, the opportunity to judge for yourself its meaning and its context. Tuna kuta wote mkoa wa Fukara KMC imeuliwa. Si tunataka KMC inafanya kazi, ngombe kipelewa kule na chinjwa, nyama inapelekwa Ulaya na Arabuni ina pesa na kwa pale. Sio. Alafu wakulima wanakuwa watajiri. Sasa wote tunalazimishwa kuuza tu mashamba yao. Unauza mashamba kwa babu sio kupenda kwako. Unauza kwa sababu ya Fukara. Masivyo. Wao ndio wanakuja kuingia, kuvamia, kuvamia. Wanapaka sasa atakuja kama sasa hakuna wachamba. Sababu ya fukara. Hiyo tunataka kubadilisha. Tunaweza kubadilisha hiyo ili watu wasiuze mashamba yao. Baki na shamba. Usiuze eh hey, kule anatoka, anatoka sababu gani anakuja kwako? Eh? Siabaki kule kwao? Siabaki kule kwao? Hiyo ndio sababu tunasema tarehe nane mwezi wa nane mwaka huu ni siku ya mabadiliko. Siku ya ukombozi wa tatu wa Kenya na wa mwisho. Ili wa Kenya waweze kupata haki yao. Kabila ya Masai ndio wanajua sana mambo ya dhulumu ya kihistoria. Walitolewa kule walikuwa naishi na wazungu wakaletwa ngambo hii alafu ile dhulumu wale fanyika wakati ile yote mpaka leo hajasahauzishwa mambo ya mashamba iko katika report inaitwa truth justice and reconciliation commission report tutatekeleza hiyo report ili watu wapate 